Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Ford vs. Ferrari. What do you know about this movie? Christian Bale and Matt Damon. Who? <laughs> Don't make me <laughs> do <laughs> Matt Damon. There you go, okay. <laughs> so we already saw Matt Damon once this week. Yeah. Uh, for Team America World Police. Not on purpose that we did two movies back to back. No, no, not on purpose, but it worked out for a Matt Damon week. Yeah. So Ford versus Ferrari has been highly recommended. Uh, we've had it on a couple polls and it's, I think, pretty consistently gotten second place. So we figured it was just time to watch it. Yeah, it's definitely been recommended a ton. It's a movie that I have seen. I really enjoyed it when I saw it maybe like a year ago or something. So it's still pretty fresh in my head. So I don't think there's going to be much that I don't remember. So this is definitely just your first time watching. But it is directed by, I want to say it's James Mangold, who he is the director of like Logan. Okay. Of uh, a movie that we really enjoyed that was like under the radar movie with Stallone. What the heck was it called? Copland, I think. Okay. So he's been on the channel already and right. we've enjoyed his movies in our personal time also. So it's definitely a stacked cast with uh, Matt Damon and Christian Bale and then a pretty great director. I'm definitely looking forward to watching it again and I'm excited to see your first time because I don't really, have we had like a car movie on the channel? I don't think so. And my knowledge of like car stuff is we started watching Formula One on Netflix. Yeah. Probably like maybe two years ago at this point. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, we're not caught up. Uh, so we're like a couple seasons behind of like what's actually happening in Formula One. Max Verstappen, that's all you really need to know. He wins everything. But it's, I mean, I love that show. It's super entertaining so i'm imagining this is something like that i don't know if this actually is formula one i don't recall ford being in formula one but or ferrari no ferrari's in it so i'm not sure <laughs> but i'm assuming this is like a something similar to that like a race or a tournament of some sort right so it does seem like it will probably be our first like car movie or car related on the channel. So looking forward to it and I think you're gonna have a good time. Yeah, I'm excited. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Oh, and it's like a time. Back in time? Yeah. Shelby, you just Come on fire. No, you're not on fire. Fill the tank. Fill the tank. Why did he like spray gas along the whole side of the car? Yeah, I think he's just fucked up. Such great camera work. Shelby. Takes the title. An American wins Lamar. Shelby. Ooh, he was like not okay. The valve is shot, Shelby. This is as serious as it gets. Damn. Well, I feel real lucky. Luckiest guy on earth. He's so young. Yeah, to have heart problems like that. Yeah. 7,000 RPM, where everything fades. <laughs> <laughs> Reckless. A body moving through space and time. Still a driver. That is a sport car. You have to drive her like a sport car. Are you telling me I don't know how to drive my own car? <laughs> Your car's more uh, Plymouth Studebaker. Damn. The customer's always right. Uh, you ever hear that? Yeah. Yeah. And the rage up. Oh. He really doesn't know how to drive it. <laughs> no. What type of girl are you? Type of girl who likes the smell of wet gasoline. Are you some kind of a deviant, are you? <laughs> well, that makes sense. I married you. <laughs> it's cute. I feel like it's insane how much stuff he's in. John Barenthal is in so much. Yeah. He's always so good. What shall be his legacy? Getting it in the tailpipe from a Chevy Impala. Dang. 
It's got a big voice. Man comes to my office with an idea. That man keeps his job. Losers, stay home. You don't belong at Ford. You want to a car idea? Just ideas. Shelby here? Uh, it's touch and go. There you go, he looks presentable. <laughs> Nothing in there about my trunk and your lovely little portmanteau. You're not gonna think he was over a trunk. <laughs> Gotta improvise. Making more room. And making an impression. You know who that was I was just talking to? Bill. Before that. Nope. He runs Porsche. He wanted you to drive at Sebring, but he'd heard you were different. Well, <laughs> point proven. Oh, I thought we felt the same way about uh, Javits. <laughs> Not too phased about losing that opportunity if you're not winning you are losing don't make me lamp this at your head <laughs> you get disqualified or just act like a jackass Ooh. well that answers that definitely a little bit of a hot head yeah oh. right in front of him <sighs> guy wins the 24-hour le mans suddenly retires oh what rumors would those be sam the Carol Shelby quit driving because he lost his nerve. Oh, wow. I'm gonna outbreak you on the next turn, Bob. He's talking shit. <laughs> nice try, Bob. <laughs> Wasn't lying. They're going so fast and they're driving so close. Yeah, right? Jeez, these cars just ignite. How many of these cars are just going out? You got it, Ken. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I like how Ken and Shelby were like perfectly in sync. Yeah. I know I am a show, I am a Pops, frame this. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder who those guys were though. That came to the um mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. The IRS came. They've padlocked the garage. Damn, just hearing the IRS just stresses you out. Right. We are buggered. Absolutely. I'll figure something out. Everything just like that. Sophia Loren, Monica Vitti, James Bond does not drive a Ford. That's because he's a degenerate. <laughs> Sex appeal. And Joe spent every lyric he's got chasing perfection. He got there. And now he's broke. They have the means. Like they have a huge team. Right. They did say they were in a slump, but. Uh, you could see that he was winning him over. Yeah. And I keep winning. Yeah, because you're good. But I can't play the game. One man assembles the entire engine by himself. Much different uh, assembly methods. And assembles the transmission. Yeah, because it's not like an assembly line of like getting everything out. Right. Like little works of art. That's it. I didn't realize Ezra Fitz was in this. Who? Pretty little liars. Ford will pay the sum. Quarsela, uh, Ford pagherà la somma di... Dieci milioni di dollari. He wanted to say that himself. Money talks. You will need some time to read this. <laughs> the translators from Grey's, too. Really? A lot of people in this. Quindi Enzo mantiene il controllo totale della società. Io assorbo la società per 18 milioni. So is everybody trying to buy Ferrari now? Well, they ran over to Fiat, but used the photos of Ford. You are correct. You do not go. In quel caso, se non dovessi... Grazie, ho capito. He's like, I got that. Brutta fabbrica. Back to your big, ugly factory. Damn. Tell him he's not Henry Ford. He's Henry Ford II. Oof. 
quite a diss. That went so poorly. But I guess we knew that was coming because it's Ford versus Ferrari. <laughs> Not Ford and Ferrari. Oh. Yeah, Fiat got it. He wanted to just keep control. He used us to up his price. It was a bad idea from the start. This guy sucks. Right? He called you fat, sir. <laughs> Pig it. He said you're not Henry Ford. You're Henry Ford II. Oof, look at his face drop. I help you? Carol Shelby? Maybe? <laughs> Depends. The I Coke. Ford Motor. Oh, they, <laughs> they did frame it. I can assure you I'm not here for money that you might owe Ford for spare parts. You're not. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Not just the best car y'all have ever made, but better than anything that Enzo Ferrari shows up with that year. It's quite a hill to climb. I think that we are incapable of winning an event like that, even if we wrote a uh, blank check. Blank check, you say? What I'm saying is you can't buy a win, but maybe you could buy the guy who gets you a shot. <laughs> There's just like no margin for error. Mm-mm. It's gotta pull Ken into it. You think that Ford are gonna let you build the car that you want? That's what they hired him for. Yeah. Ford Mustang. What do you think? I think it's the secretary's car. Secretary's car. Would you? Would you not do that? Oh, sorry. Don't get me wrong, lady. Leo. <laughs> I'll still choose a Chevy Chevelle. That's a fucking terrible car. <laughs> Yeah. Down, I would say it's probably like good time to buckle up. Do everybody a favor, stay on the ground. <laughs> Here comes Shelby. Who's the pilot? Someone we know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Wow! Talk about making an entrance, <laughs> right? <laughs> Pleasure, Mr. Baby. Thank you for coming. Say hello to Ken Miles and his son, yeah. Peter. Yeah. <laughs> so you two get a chance to talk on the plane? Yeah. Uh, they already stepping in? Maybe. Now, folks, <laughs> you're going to do the Mustang. <laughs> We're going to build the fastest automobile in the world. Let's go. My name is Carol Shelby. I build race cars. It's like he was talking directly to Ken, but did it. Fresh off the plane from England. So cool. Whoa. How the doors open? <laughs> it's awful. It's worse than awful. Hey, it doesn't track. And over 140 thinks it's a... Uh, Airplane. Uh, yeah. And wants to lift off and fly to Hawaii. <laughs> Anything else? Hook, line, and sinker. Well, I'm asking, did you go any place last night? Summing up, love. What are you doing? Bloody hell, what are you doing? What is this? Well, you tell me, because I don't know. Pushing that station wagon to the limit. Don't lie to me, Ken. It's 200 a day, plus expenses. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I haven't decided. $200 a day? Are you nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Think she decided. <laughs> what are they doing? Making your car faster. What are all those for? I see it. Yarn blow straight up. Yep. Front lifting. Damn, he's right. Of course he's right. Put in a bigger engine. Or are we going to put it on the roof? <laughs> All new aluminum cylinder heads. We call it the beast. It's a good name. You already put that in a GT40. I'm afraid we have. It's already got the beast engine. Perhaps you want to check with HQ before you test. You say? <laughs> <laughs> and he's off. Ford means reliability. Ken Miles not a Ford man. Whoa! Building your car. What's the lap record here, Bert? 158. 150 dead. Damn. 
Lee here asked me a while back, what's the one thing money can't buy? A pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. We think he may be too pure. He should quit then. Shelby. Ken, don't help him. Do you trust him not to put out the wrong message? Should you get Doris Day to drive the car if all you want to do is lose? So you don't agree with us on this issue? No. I'm saying you gotta trust me on this one. Put a Ford type driver in the Ford car, Mr. Shelby. Such a yeah, scumbag losers. face. They're concerned about just selling more Fords yeah. at the end of the day. It'd be pretty cool if Ferrari took him. If Ferrari got Ken. We're taking McLaren, Chris Amon, Phil Hill. It is their opinion that you are not a good image, so you cannot drive their race car. The, uh, the gearbox will overheat. It's a better person than me. I would have just left. Ken, the race is starting, so I want it on the radio. Uh, not unless you do. Let's put everything into this. Yeah. Casket. Car's not a moon rocket. Too soon, surely too soon. Just still so interested. Please put everything into this. Crazy of the car shadows. What's that you're listening to? Uh, some race over in France. Not really paying much attention. <laughs> This is my favorite part of the movie, is these two. <laughs> Not a good headline. Mr. Ford, gentlemen. Intimidating environment so far. Even with all the extra weight, we still managed to put old Mr. Ferrari exactly where we want him. We haven't worked out how to corner yet. Or stay on the ground. It's quite a few things. We don't even know if our paint job will last a whole 24 hours. But. <laughs> but our last lap, we clocked 218 miles an hour. And now he knows, without a doubt, we're faster than he is. Wow. Right? What a good point. Even with the wrong driver. Ooh. I'd say you got Ferrari exactly where you want him. You're welcome. Who you should be firing is this senior VP of whatever. Come here. Stupid red folder. That was a great representation though of how many like people are just involved. And there is one man running this company. You report to him. Go ahead, Carol. Go to war. Thank you, sir. There you go. Cut out all that red tape. You were right. It's a gearbox. He's like, I know. <laughs> you want me to beg? I don't know. Let's try it out. Ken, I'm sorry. Sincerely. Mm. <laughs> Didn't feel great. Now knock it off, Ken. We got work to do and this car ain't gonna build itself. <laughs> oh! Okay. All right. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be like, all right, like that was your one shot. Come here. Bloody car sales won't get- He's gotta watch out for his heart. Whoa. Get off me. <laughs> Got a front row seat. You just look right. <laughs> Ow. Look at the crowd. <laughs> Come here. Do the fizzy pop, please. You want one too, Shelby? No. Oh, yes, please, no. Molly. No. <laughs> like kids. <laughs> I call that the llama bite. You name it. Where you learn that? All the Girl Scouts. Gotta just fight it out every few years. You still take that to see your ticker? Oh, look, they're so delicious. <laughs> oh, I'll go to hell. <laughs> Back together. It's all that matters. <laughs> Just sounds so cool. Out there is the perfect lap. Every gear change, every corner, perfect. You want some ice cream? Yeah. Uh -uh. Such a great moment with his son. The relationships in this movie are like it. Yeah. You cannot destroy the whole thing, not for one goddamn guy. Sure I can. While we're here talking, he's out there getting it done. Yeah, he's but he is it. Like, you need him to race. Yeah, he is the car. He's got brake fade. <laughs> oh, shit. God, just stay there. Jeez. 
Jeez. It's insane. And he's almost killing himself over this. And they want to get rid of him. Swap out the entire braking system, rotors included. Wow. I'm going to take him home. Sort this shit out. I will. Yeah, she's like, do not get back in that. Yeah, until you find a solution. The suit's flame proof. Lewis Evans burned to death. See, he got stuck. As long as you get out of the car, you're okay. Ugh, I feel like this is like some foreshadowing or something. I don't like it. I feel like it just took away some of like the excitement for him. Yeah. You got a plan? Absolutely. Good one. It's high risk. <laughs> Extremely high risk. Glad we had this talk. I don't think he's gonna back down though, this time. Shelby? Yeah. I have been appointed overall executive director of the racing program. This won't be a problem between us. Well, I assure you, Leo, it will not. Just lock him in a room. He needs to have Ken drive for Mr. Ford. See what $9 million feels like. Hey! <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> oh, God. Sat on my nuts. <laughs> the door. Sorry, sir. If you just give me a moment. Oh, when the door. Hit it. That a boy. <laughs> Such a great takeoff. It's about right now the uninitiated have a tendency to soil themselves. <laughs> the scream to engine. I wish my daddy, he were alive to see this. Now, this is not a machine does anybody can get in and easily control. You really want to take first place. Ken Miles is a man to do it. Wow. That was huge. If he wins, he gets to drive Lamar. And if he doesn't? Ford Motor Company gets full ownership of Shelby American. Wow. Bet Some is, confidence, yeah, though. Yeah, right? Bet his company on this. Speed, strategy, even the RPMs are determined by us. I think you're about to look real dumb. We got a goddamn NASCAR crew, that's why. No shit. No shit. Yeah. Those. Ain't no miles can do this late in the race. Engine hot, we gotta keep it under 6,000. Wow, already celebrating. Gonna tell him to go over. Go over 6,000. <laughs> so cool. Just unleash. That turn is wild. She could come apart. One way to find out. <laughs> I thought we were keeping them under 6,000. Shut up, Don. Ooh. He's moving up. Moving up quick. Oh man. Oh my God, it's so close. Look at this now. <laughs> it's not close anymore. Car handled it. Ken won. Shelby gets to keep his company. It's finally here. Oh, hell, I couldn't make this thing. Oh my god, what the first corner? No, I figured. They're both just obsessed. <laughs> Counting on it. I mean, this is life changing for him. You can take him. I'm glad he gets to watch this. Right. So they only have one driver or still two? Uh, I think it's multiple. Oh, right. Because they change every four hours, right? Yeah. This part is so crazy to me. <laughs> Running to your car. Yeah. Dirt. 
Like, let's get their heart rates up. <laughs> Before racing. Even more. Ooh. Ooh. Already? It's 24 hours with <laughs> plenty of time. Bloody door won't close! All right, all right. Get out of the way. <laughs> Just needed a good old hit. It just, oh, but just like thinking that about that conversation earlier about making sure you can get out of the car. Like, yeah, I don't, ugh, this is not giving me good, <laughs> good vibes. Yeah, with a stuck door. I honestly thought they were just gonna take it off, but I don't know if he <laughs> could drive like that. He's going so fast. I hope the car can take 24 hours of trying to be perfect every lap. She's ready, Ken. Oh, thank you, Chas. Happy birthday! Okay, he was able to get out. <laughs> I feel better now. Can you keep this up? Can the car. Who was that? Number 18 and number 26 have collided. Does he know that there was an accident? Oh. <laughs> Oh shit. Ooh. All I was thinking was like, I don't think they are communicating in the cars, right? With right. Them? Rain's coming. All right. Rain's coming and he's eating a bologna sandwich. <laughs> Can't see shit. No, not at all. Oh, fuck. It's like a split dust, yeah, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sent, sent him into the wall. Hey. There you go, cover up that message. Are you not on the same team? Oh, shit. going so fast. Oh, those brakes, though. Oh. I came out of it. They're like, is this against the rules? <laughs> right. And I can swap out any damn thing I want to. We read your damn rule book. <laughs> a whole other lap on him. Gonna make him pit again. Made it through the night. He's off his pace. Come on, Ken. I gave you new brakes, buddy. Ooh, those brakes. Blindly going through that. Is that him? <laughs> <laughs> Just crazy because you know how, like how fast they're going. Yeah, like 200 plus miles per hour. That's my girl, that's my girl. Oh. Ooh. Isn't that crazy? He thinks it'll be a historic moment for Ford. It'll make a great photograph. Don't go near my daughter. This is what Mr. Ford wants. Go on now. Did he ever even agree to that? Absolutely not. They want you to slow down to three fourths across the finish line. One, two, three, all together. Ridiculous. No. The car's yours, kid. It's gonna be his fastest lap yet. Now. So cool. Jeez. Three thirty point six. 
That's another record. It's a perfect lap. It's <laughs> no one. No one can touch him. Ken Miles, slow down. He waited for them. He's bringing them all in together. Good for you, Ken. I mean, he proved a point. Oh, he's the fastest. Yeah. For sure. Without question. These two better not pull anything funny. Look at that. Well done, Leo. You too, Doc. For what? Yeah, that guy sucks. He came in and he won. But it's not a tie. Travelled that little bit further, so he's won and not ten. That's, that's, that's bullshit. Shell. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mr. Ferrari knows who won. You promised me the drive. Not the win. Isn't that so disappointing? Let me take a shower, get a cup of tea. I mean, she's cop or something. We're gonna get the bastard next year. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like clearly leagues better. 7,000 RPM. That's where you made it. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? He's not wearing shit. It's been six months, Shell. Six months. Just like a slow burn of like building you up for this entire movie. Just to like one, two punch you with the race and then now he's dead. Yeah. Oh, hello, Pete. I remember that wrench. My dad threw it at you. Your daddy was, uh... He was your friend. Yes, he was. And he thought you was just finer than frog fur. I think I've got to go help my mom. What are you doing here then? Definitely a rough ending. Damn, four years in a row. Wow. <laughs> All right, that was Ford versus Ferrari. What'd you think? I loved it. Yeah? I'm very upset. <laughs> it's it's hard. This is my second time watching it. A lot of times, like the first time watching a movie, unless something like really clicks, it won't make me as emotional. Whenever I watch it again, just the anticipation of knowing what's coming, it always hits harder. So this was a lot rougher of an experience than the first time I watched it. Yeah, and I'm sure you're picking up on things and since you know it's coming, like these moments with his son, with his wife, they just mean that much more. Exactly, like the little conversations he have with his son or even comments that like you made. Halfway through the movie, you're like, my favorite thing about this movie is Ken and Molly's relationship and whenever they're on screen together. So I was sitting here knowing like, Oof, that's not gonna last. Yeah. Also knowing the outcome of the race. I remember the first time I watched this, that made me so mad. Yeah, no, I could, f I don't even know. I will, I guess we'll see when I watch <laughs> it back. I could feel my face getting like red. Oh yeah. Like I was mad. Oh yeah. The whole thing, obviously the VP of whatever is just like a piece of shit throughout the entire movie. Yeah, there's no like character art. He, starts a piece of shit and ends a piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, he sucks. And to have him like get in Ford's ear about them coming in all in together, it all just always seems so calculated with him. Um, I loved getting to see Miles like prove a point immediately after that by breaking his own record. Yeah, having the, the perfect lap. And like the realization in like his son's face when he said it was the perfect lap, like it was so satisfying and it was cool. As much as obviously it changed the outcome of everything, it was cool 
to have that moment with the three Fords, like it was a moment. I mean, everyone, I mean, even Molly, like everyone was like, oh, they're they're coming all in together. Like, yeah, it was a memorable moment. But the fact that just nobody thought this through and yeah, what over 20 feet or something. Just a little technicality. And obviously like Molly's really excited, but she also phrased it as like, oh no, like he's leading them in, you know, he's still clearly in the lead. And the other drivers, which that always baffles me so obviously this is a true story but i don't know how true it really is but that shocks me the fact that the other two drivers are aware enough to know hey can crosses the line first but if you win in that way how could you possibly accept that win like I, there's absolutely no way if i was the person who technically went further that i'd be like oh sorry ken i guess i'm the better driver Oh, like Ken obviously won. Yeah, it was very strange. Obviously, you pointed it out too. The moment that uh, the Ferrari, head of Ferrari, whatever he is. Mr. Ferrari. Yeah, that he like tips his hat off is huge because yeah. it's obvious. But the whole thing was wild to me too that obviously everyone's congratulating. I think McLaren is what they said. I think so, yeah. Which, okay, yeah, cool. Like you're the winner or whatever. But we just watched Miles consecutively beat his own record and the record yeah. for fastest lap. Like no one could touch him, all of these things. And not a single person wanted to like photograph him or take photos of, like, or interview him, any of that stuff. That was so crazy to me. Yeah, even like Mr. Ford went straight up to the winner and yeah. was taking photos and stuff. Just the fact that Ken and Shelby could just walk off without any sort of you know, mad frenzy around them when it's so obvious that Ken was the best. Yeah. I mean, I love that shot when he's kind of deciding what to do and he like looks in his side view mirror and there's just no one. There's just absolutely no one. Like he's so dominant in this movie. Again, like I, I don't know the truth of it. Like, was it really at a point where he had like a five minute lead, which is just insane. I mean, when we see like little things of like Ferrari and not Ferrari, like Formula One, yeah, it's like, Oh, he won by 10 seconds. And it's like, holy shit, 10 seconds? That's an eternity. Yeah. So for this to be like multiple minutes, it's crazy. So it's there's still some satisfaction. The fact that he had like broke and set multiple track records, even in the photo, if that's a real photo, his car would still be crossing the finish line first. Like he was obviously inducted into the Hall of Fame. History remembers it correctly. It's shocking that someone could actually take that trophy and not walk it directly to Ken and be like, this is yours. Yeah, I mean, the excitement and all of the things and whatever, but yeah, I would, how are you gonna feel right taking that? Yeah, every time you look, like if you put that in your house, you're gonna look at it and be like, oh yeah, I don't deserve this. Yeah, so that was devastating. Um, obviously the race was a good chunk of the movie, just mm -hmm. watching him get through that 24 hours. And so many things happened. The whole literal Ford versus Ferrari, yeah. back and forth. Like there was just so much excitement and everything in this race and watching it go back and forth. There was just so many amazing moments. And I loved that Molly and his son got to watch it like watch it whereas every other race they've been listening to it on the radio right so it was really cool to see i feel like we touched a lot on the shots yeah visually it's an amazing movie yeah no it's incredible and i know we named like a couple of other films that james mangold has directed that we've seen on and off the channel right but none of those films do i recognize as like being like visually stunning Right. And I feel like this one was like the, the some of the shots in it, obviously the shot that you said about him, like looking in the rear view mirror, but the racing shots, um, there was that moment where he was racing, um, I think at Daytona and you have like the two cars in his glasses. Oh yeah. There's just so much attention to detail in the shots. Cause obviously it's like, okay, like how many times are we going to watch this car go around? Like, how do we make this cool? And I feel like they continue to make it cool every time. It's just so impressive how fast it makes everything look. Yeah. I feel like that's, I don't know how it's done, what's the trick or whatever, but there's definitely moments when you like will watch a movie and you're just like, this is not representing how fast it should be. Mm -hmm. Like Tom Cruise is a great example who like he runs in a specific way 
where it visually looks like he is just hauling ass. Like, yeah. I don't think there's anyone on screen who looks like they're running as fast as Tom Cruise. Yeah. Or like, there's always a moment in the very first, like, Lord of the Rings, blanking on all the names, but like, Frodo's on a horse, he's po poison and stuff. There's a bunch of ring wraiths, like, chasing. It's just like a horse chase. But never in my life have I ever thought that horses were moving as quickly as in that scene. Yeah. And it's the same with this. Like I've never seen a movie where the cars just visually look like they're going as fast as they are. Yeah. Like it feels like they are just going 200 miles per hour all the time. Yeah, they're hauling it, which is crazy then when you get the moments that you have two drivers next to each other looking at each other. And it's like, holy shit, like how are these two even lining up when they're going this fast? Yeah. It's incredible. The, the speed that they're going at. Uh, I, I really like that conversation where uh, Ken is like talking about how you don't have like tunnel vision. You like slow down and see everything. Yeah, you have like your whole peripherals. Yeah. So it's like I, I can't drive 25 miles per hour and like read a sign on the side of the road or something like a stop sign or something's like, what does it say? Stop. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but like the fact that Ken can be going like 200 miles per hour and see a sign that says 7,000, like... 7,000 plus uh, something. Let let loose or something. Uh, yeah. Also hell or something. I don't know. It was like, it was a long sign to read going that fast. Yeah. So it's just impressive the skill it takes. And I think that's why Shelby was obviously so adamant that it needs to be Ken Miles. Mm -hmm. I mean, even using like Formula One as an example, that's like obviously exploded to be like the premier racing event and there's like 20 guys in the world and they just all switch around teams yeah they all, because no one else is good enough to replace them yeah like, that is how tiny the pool is of people who are capable of like becoming one with a machine mm -hmm. it's so clear that when you see ken drive in this movie he can do stuff with this car that no one else can do yeah and i mean what's special about ken is that he literally built the car yeah. Like he's part of the car. He knows everything about this car, literally an extension of him. I love the moment too. It's like the first time that Shelby gets Ken in the car and he's like, oh, what do you think? And he's like, it's a piece of shit. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. And then we come to the end after Ken passes away and it's this random person who gets out and they're like, oh, what'd you think? And he's like, yeah, real nice. I like it. And it's like, okay, dude, you don't have it. Yeah, but we did see that that car that they did end up designing at the end did win four years in a row. So he does have it. <laughs> well, I mean, he... Someone has it. <laughs> he probably doesn't have it, but he at least could kind of tell that it was good or he was just blowing smoke. Right. I don't know. So uh, this is such a, a great movie. There's so many parts to love. Obviously, the visuals of it, the racing is intense and you're totally sucked into it, but even other moments that are highlighted like you love the relationship between ken and molly like i love the relationship between shelby and ken yeah. or you even have the back and forth with all of the suits and like john barenthal is still a suit but he's like trying to just like do his best yeah. and stuff you know even you have inspirational moments from mr ford and you have shitty moments too it's like that whole war speech like that you know, gets you going Yeah. when he's just like, look, yeah. Ford, Ford has been in war in Europe before, like go to war. And the moment in the car. <laughs> yeah. Like I was like. Is he okay? Yeah, like, are you okay? And then Matt Damon's like, are you okay? But then it became like a moment when he's like, oh, like I wish my dad would have been able to experience this. Right, to see how far we've come with this company. Yeah. So it turns into this very beautiful moment where you're like, oh, wow. Yeah, because at first it was like, I was like, is he going to start laughing? Like, after the whole soil themselves comment, I was like, are you okay? But cast overall was absolutely incredible. I mean, that VP guy was such a good villain. Right. But Christian Bale and Matt Damon were excellent. Yeah, they had such good chemistry mm -hmm. for like a brother relationship. Yeah. Like even how they would fight. And oh yeah, there was a, even watching this the second time, there was a little thing I noticed when they were fighting, I think Shelby picked up like a can of something. And then he put it down. And then he put it down and he, and he grabbed, grabbed the, the bread. bread. So it's like, they're still fighting, but they're not trying to really hurt each other. Yeah. Clearly just like brothers, which when it gets to the end of the movie, it hits really hard. Yeah, um, obviously it was the foreshadowing kind of of his death. 
uh, by fire in the car. And it's shocking. I mean, I feel like I wasn't even over the fact that the race was like stolen from him on a technicality. Yeah. So you're still like reeling from that, or I guess in my place, like simmering from that. <laughs> I was so mad. But then like his death just happens. And obviously I feel like the heartbreaking moment having Shelby look back at his son, at Ken's son. Yeah. Um, just having to be there and to witness that. But that moment with the wrench and outside of their home with Shelby and then, you know, like the little wave and getting in the car, that got me. Oh yeah, it got me also. Yeah. I mean, because obviously Matt Damon is a fantastic actor. So he pulls off that emotion really well in yeah. terms of just like how messed up he was losing his brother essentially. Yeah. And then it's always a plus when you have like stellar kid actors. Kid mm -hmm. actors can often like ruin a scene. Yeah. I feel like I've seen this kid before in he something. He looks very familiar. So I think he's still like hopefully getting a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, but he was exceptional in this movie yeah. to carry a lot of like really emotional moments. Yeah. So I mean, there's just so many things to like about this movie. Not only is it made fantastic, the acting is fantastic, but then you have amazing chemistry with different dynamics. And then just the root of it, the racing, it's shot in such an exciting way. Uh, and because the characters are so good, you're so invested in the outcome that uh, it's it's a really fantastic movie. Yeah, no, 100% agree. I'm definitely gonna be laying in bed after this, researching what's real, what's not. Yeah, that's true, yeah. You know, what really happened to Ken and did he ever like get reverse credit for a win or something like that. Yeah. I mean, they put him in the Hall of Fame, but he deserves that win. I don't think they're going to give it to him, but <laughs> he had two other wins in the same season, so. That's a really good point. But this was a lot of fun to revisit. I definitely feel like it hit me harder. I picked up on more stuff. I had a better time. Uh, so it's definitely a movie where it's like, if it's on TV or something and it's like getting close to the end, you're like, hell yeah, I'm gonna watch the rest of this. So this was a great time and I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, no, I'm so glad that we watched this. Thanks to everyone for recommending it. Definitely something different for us, for the channel. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I loved it. I would wanna watch this again. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.